Let's go back to some of the questions. Is it necessary to be a student of knowledge before starting da'wah? Quick answer is yes. But what do you mean a student of knowledge? But yes, because before knowledge, before action in Islam comes knowledge. Before any action comes knowledge. This religion is knowledge. This religion is based upon knowledge and that includes da'wah. You can't make wudu without learning how to make wudu. You can't make salah without learning how to make salah. It's the same in everything. You can't give da'wah, you have to learn. You don't have to be a scholar, you don't have to be a, an alim, but you have to study how to give da'wah. Yeah? So this is uh, very important. So this is what the Prophet said, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ عَدُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرًا Say, this is my way. I invite to Allah upon certain knowledge. So basira is important. Anna wa man atabaani. You don't have an option. If you want to follow the Prophet, you need to seek the knowledge. Sallallahu alayhi wa Okay, and one of the dangers is doing da'wah without sufficient knowledge. It could be talking about Islam from one's own perspective, which may not be right. That's true. That's true, you should watch out. But I have to tell you as well, when it comes to da'wah, you will make mistakes. So don't let shaitan fool you thinking you have to be perfect first, because you will never be perfect. And you will make mistakes, and the one who is not making mistakes is not giving da'wah. This is what the scholars said. You will make mistakes. And some of the learning can only be through experience. Some of the learning is only something you will get through experience. So there's only so much learning you can do from a book. I know many, you know, I, I, I know many scholars who give courses on da'wah. And they will mention all the hadith and all the ayat and they can give you a beautiful lecture. But you will never find this sheikh ever giving da'wah. Maybe he never even talked to maybe two or three non-Muslims. So he has the book knowledge. But the practical knowledge, the, the knowledge of actually what does it translate to in reality, there is a big difference. There is a big difference between the theory and the reality. There's a big difference. So this is, everyone knows this. Everyone knows this in anything. You can only study something so much in theory, but when you actually come to practice it, I give you an example from the Qur'an. Allah, Musa spoke to Allah. Allah spoke to, Allah spoke to Musa directly. Yes? So Musa went to the mountain and Allah talked to him. <laughs> Not through Jibril, Allah talked to Musa. And Allah gave him the, ten, the, you know, the, the tablets. And Allah told Musa, why did you hasten? Why did you come? Because now you've gone away, your people are doing this. Now remember, Allah told Musa what the Bani Israel were doing. And he's holding the tablets. Yeah? And Allah's telling him. When Musa went and saw his people, he dropped the tablets. <laughs> he dropped it. Why? Because seeing is not like hearing. Even when you hear from Allah. Even when Allah, the Lord of the worlds, is telling you, why didn't Musa drop the tablet? Allah! Why didn't he drop the tablets right there? Because when he saw it, even it was Allah telling him, his seeing it was not like his hearing it. The experience is not like the book knowledge. Yeah? So alhamdulillah, you have to study. How to give da'wah. It's not difficult. Actually, it's not, this is what we teach. This is what we're teaching in our training. Over three days, not three days, it's only maybe a day. If you sat from nine to five, I can teach you. Even to be honest, I can teach you the basics in half a day. No problem. It's not a big thing. I can teach you some very good basic rules on how to give da'wah, alhamdulillah, based upon my Quran and Sunnah and my years and years of experience. Okay? It's not the only way, it's just a way. Right? Uh, but the reality is when you go out there and you start talking to people, you forget all of the things you learned. And then you'll be saying, oh, even me, uh, even me, I teach it and I still find myself, wait a minute, why didn't I do what I teach? Because sometimes in the conversation, someone says something, you get, anyway, this is the reality. Okay, so, yeah.